Okay. Uh, so, you need to give it any compound, determine if it's acid, base, or neutral. That's going to be very relevant because if we give you a compound and ask you to find the pH, you need to know if it's acid or base because it will depend, do I use a Ka or a Kb? So you always need to be able to tell what this is. I think this is at the end of chapter 16, I want to say. So this is the way I do it. Uh, you, basically, you can play this with your friends. You just pick any ion you want, cation and anion, and then you just guess, is it acid, base, or neutral? So randomly, you can say, uh, barium. And let's pick an anion like uh, iodine. So you go, oh, what about barium? Iodine. Okay? Is this acidic, basic, or neutral? So what you, this is how I do this. I'd say, well, let me write the cation and the anion separately. Okay? And if they're both neutral, the overall compound is neutral. If this is an acid and this is neutral, the overall compound is acidic. And if this one is basic and this one's neutral, the overall thing is basic. So you kind of go like that. So, uh, yes? Is it BA plus or BA2 plus? 2 plus, thank you. Excellent, fantastic. So, BA2 plus, sorry about that. So what I do is I write down here below the conjugates, okay, to help me realize this. So I would write, say, HI is the conjugate of I minus, and the conjugate of barium is BAOH2, okay? So, HI, what is that? This is a strong acid. Those of you in land class, do you know why that's a strong acid? If you're in land class. Yeah, yes, why? <laughs> okay, yes, exactly. Go to table 5 2 in your textbook. Anything on that table is strong. If it is anything not on that table, it's weak. Okay? There's only about 5 or 10 things on that table. Okay, learn it. That's on the table, it's strong. Okay. How about this one? Strong base, my class Y. Yeah, it's on that table. So, this is a strong base. What's the conjugate of a strong acid? What's I minus? Neutral. Neutral. What's the conjugate of a strong base? Neutral. Okay, there's another concept. The conjugate of anything that is considered strong, whether strong acid or strong base, is a neutral. So, now I say, oh, this compound made of barium, which is neutral, and iodine, which is neutral. So the compound must be? Neutral. neutral. If I asked you to find the pH of this, what method of solving would you use? Table yeah, pH equals 7. It's neutral. If it's neutral, it's pH got to be 7. No method of solving necessary, just your pencil. Okay? Let's write down my answer. Okay, let's try another. You want to try a couple more? Okay, let's for fun, let me see if I think of, oh, let's do, uh, lithium, uh, nitrite, lithium nitrite. So what I would do is I write the ion separately, lithium and the nitrite ion, so just so I can see, it's a little easier for me to see. And then below this, remember, I like to write the conjugates. Again, this is just my method of solving. You can use it, write it any way you want. So a conjugate of lithium, lithium hydroxide, the conjugate of nitrite, nitrous acid. Okay. What is this? That's a strong base. It's on that table. So the conjugate is? Neutral. Neutral. That's easy. Okay. What's this? Weak acid. Weak acid. How did you know that? Not on that darn table. See how convenient that table is. So this is just a regular acid, so the conjugate of any weak acid is just a base. Yeah, no neutral involved. So this overall component, yeah, it's a neutral plus a base, which has to be a base. Okay? Uh, did you want another one? So, by the way, if you want it, if I wanted to find the pH of this, what solving method must I use? Kb, and I have to use the ice table to find the pH of this. So there's a, if you didn't know this, 
If you have a weak acid or weak base, you must use the ice slash rice table. If you have a strong acid or strong base, you do not do that. Okay? You, uh, if you want me to solve that, I can, but it's just trivial. Trivial. You just take the concentration of that equal to the concentration, say, of H plus if it's a strong acid. Okay, did you want another one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Did you just say that um, it's equal to the concentration? Is that because it's equal to Say that again? That it's equal to the concentration because it's 100% ionized? If it's strong, yeah. Say a strong acid, the H plus concentration is equal to the concentration of the acid. So anything on that table, if it's a strong acid, you'd take it as H plus concentration. If it's a strong base, you'd take it as OH minus concentration. Yeah. So those are trivial cases. Uh, the harder ones are weak acids or weak bases. That's where you'd actually use that equilibrium table. Okay, let me see if I come up with another one. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Floyd, oh, this is a hard one. I, I will need more thinking for this one, but that's what you want. Okay, so write down the ions separately, NH4 plus and F minus. Okay, and then let's do the conjugate of F, that's just HF. Let's just do this one first. HF is what? It's just one of those weak acids. I'll just write A for a weak acid. So the conjugate is base, okay, so we're halfway there. Now, ammonia, you could write its conjugate if you want, it's just NH3. Uh, but do you know what either of these are? Do you know which one's the base? NH3, that's a weak base. It's like household ammonia. So this must be an acid. And so, uh-oh, acid plus base. It's going to depend which one's stronger. If the acid is stronger or the base is stronger. So what you would do in this case, and let me see if I can find this table or not. But you would need, uh, like on my test, I'll give you the KAs and KBs of all these values, and you would just use that. Uh, here we go. You would need a table that looks something like this, or it would have to be given somehow. Okay? And you would look on here, and you would find the Ka of NH4 plus, uh, here's the Kb of NH4 plus, or really ammonia, and you would find the, for F, Here's the Ka for HF. So, oops. So for HF, the Ka is, again, from a table, 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus 4. The Kb for ammonia is uh, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. Okay, which one of these is the bigger number? The one on the right or left? Yeah, this is the bigger number here. Okay. So, when I take the conjugate, which one is... So, this one is the, the powerful one here. When I take the conjugate, which one will be more powerful on the right or the left? left. Yeah, the conjugate is the opposite. And if you don't believe me, you can mathematically find it by saying Kw is Ka times Kb. Okay, so you would solve for the Kb for F minus, and you'd solve for the Ka for NH4 plus. So now, if NH4 plus is stronger, what's the overall? Acid. Yeah, this has to be acidic. Okay. See so how it works? Because the acid is stronger than the base. Any questions? Okay.